the arrival of the chairman of the Council of State, Adama Hini of the Asante Duabe. Nana Otuo Sribo II is arriving, also arriving. Nana Otuo Sribo II, chairman of the Council of State, and a man here of Asante Duabe has arrived. Nana, welcome. Arriving now is the Chief Justice, Kwesi Eni Yaboa. Justice Kwesi Eni Yaboa succeeded Justice Sofai Kufu as the first male Chief Justice of Ghana in 12 years. Justice Eni Yaboa was sworn in as Chief Justice by President Kufuado in January this year. Also arriving now is the Right Honourable Professor Aaron Michael Okwe, Speaker of Ghana's Parliament. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be reminded that already seated, is a former AU chairman, former ECOWAS chairman, our implementer of the National Health Insurance Scheme, a proud son by the PRO of the Ghana Armed Forces, Commander Veronica Ahen has also joined us uh, in commentary position. Um, uh, today, uh, the 63rd Independence Anniversary uh, is coming off here in Kumasi, and the traditional authority in Kumasi is a very much a part of this. We have also been joined in commentary position by uh, Osei Bonsu Safo Kantanka. Many people know him as uh, Teacher Kantanka. He is a researcher for the Manshia Palace. He has joined us in commentary position. Uh, he researched into language, history, culture, and tradition. Um, my name is Abdul Hai Moomin. Um, it's, it's, it's a cloudy day uh, ahead of uh, the events. Uh, last night we had some showers here in the Ashanti region, and this uh, promises to be a very uh, exciting day for many of the students who are here to do this for the very first time in their lives. Remember, this is the first time this event is coming to the Ashanti region and this will be the first time many of these children will be marching in front of a president since uh, Ghana attained independence. The first time it was moved outside of the capital was last year when the 62nd anniversary was celebrated in Kumasi. Selikem, uh, in Tamale, I beg your pardon, you were there in Tamale with me. We did the job together. Um, does it bring back any nostalgic memories from the Tamale experience? We saw a lot of uh, display of the northern um, tradition and culture. Here, we are also seeing a lot of the display of one of the things that the Ashanti region is best known for, which is the kinti mm. uh, cloth. A lot of people are trooping in beautifully adorned. Right. The colors are fantastic. The excitement is high. And there are a lot of people excited that this has come to Kumasi as well. And if you just joined us, this is DBC's coverage of the 63rd Independence Parade. Uh, already, uh, the Chief Justice of the Republic has arrived. Other dignitaries have also arrived. They will be telling you uh, who has arrived as and when uh, we see them coming in. Uh, Commander Veronica Ahen is with the Ghana Armed Forces. Uh, Commander, you can take us through what has been happening uh, since morning. We've seen uh, the security personnel take position on the field. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, and the security, the, the Ghana Armed Forces, the Ghana Police Service, and then other security services, including students and pupils from the Ashanti region, marched onto the parade. And so now they are we are receiving dignitaries. And I believe in our shot now is... 
and so this is the uh, I think yes. short now is arrival of O2 for Ose to two the second. Uh, unfortunately, we have also uh, for those who just joined us in commentary position is Nana uh, Ose Bonsu Safo Kantanka. Uh, he is known as Teacher Kantanka. He is a researcher for the Manchia Palace, and he is here with us also. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Teacher Kantanka, what exactly? Uh, that's uh, the Utumfu Asantehini arriving. Yeah, uh, you see him arrive with uh, a number of people around him uh, holding shells. Mm. Uh, this only tells us that uh, we are almost always, always, all the time ready for battle and to defend ourselves. And in the olden days, before the introduction of guns, mm. they were using shells and um, and swords to fight. So this has not been discarded. It's been used as uh, to remember such occasions. Almost always, uh, when Utumfo is anywhere, thousand shells surround him. And that is why they have uh, a champion here. Uh, in charge, and a champion here has always been his own son, who is in charge of thousand shells around him, protecting mm. him wherever he goes. Of course, we also know that the two four thirty two is the uh, on the second is the sixteenth Asante uh, and uh, he was installed on the twenty sixth of April in the year nineteen ninety nine uh, by name he is in direct succession to the 17th century leader of the Ashanti Empire, Otunfo Osei Tutu the first. But this is Nana Asante Hene Otunfo Osei Tutu the second who has just arrived in uh, at the venue for the 63rd Independence Day Parade. So who, who else came with him? He's arriving John? with Lady Julia. Uh, his wife, yes. His wife. Of course. And, 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 and what's the significance of the, the drumming and uh, all the appellations when Utunfu arrives at a venue? Well, the drumming is uh, to recount the past glory. And those who understand the language of drum would be able to tell you it tells a whole history. In the olden days, it used to be our uh, mobile phones. That is, uh, drums could be played and relayed and within 15 minutes, it will reach Ivory Coast. Mm. Yeah, because they calculated to know that within a radius of six miles, the, the, the sound goes down. Mm -hmm. So at every six miles radius, they stationed a drummer who will relay to the next six miles radius. So this is how they communicated. Mm. And so when um, we, we study culture and we hear about the talking drum, it's it's actually not uh, on the surface uh, the meaning is real it's talking yes. drum. these drums yeah. do send out messages they are they were our mobile phones and they are still our mobile phones and you see a variety of Ghanaians who have arrived at the 40,000 capacity Babayara Stadium here in the Ashanti region uh, it's in Kumasi the capital and Kumasi is a very historic town it is uh, in this uh, vicinity that it was assumed that that um, uh, it is said that uh, Okunfanochi received that golden stool. Okay. Yeah, he did not receive it. Mm. He prayed to the Almighty God and uh, it descended from the heavens. Mm. And that is what we've been told and that is what we believe in. All right, so. Uh, it descended on the laps of the, the king. The first king of Ashanti, King Osei Tutu the first. Mm. Uh, 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 Ashanti region um, uh, has a very rich history, especially when uh, the independence of Ghana uh, is mentioned. Uh, we know about all the efforts of the modern politicians from this part of the country, but also from the traditional rulers who had to fight the British and ensure that Ghana gained independence. Yasantua, the Queen Mother of Ejusu, uh, readily comes to, to mind. In, in these times, don't, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She, she does come to mind. Um, it started long before Yasantua, and that is between uh, 1806 and um, 1900. There were a series of wars. It is believed that major wars were fought uh, between the Ashantis and the British. Mm. The, Ashant the British 
the aim of the British was to dominate uh, every part of Africa, and Ashanti's resisted this uh, domination so that seven major wars were fought within this period and it is believed that Ashanti's won three times and the British four times. Right, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to uh, all the things that led to Ghana's attainment of independence, but we, uh, we're talking about Ghana, who really are we and what really does Ghana stand for? Selikam, do we know? Yes, of course, um, the Republic of Ghana is located in the West African sub-region along the Gulf of Guinea. This is bordered by Burkina Faso to the north and the Republic of Togo to the east and Cote d'Ivoire to the west. Now, Ghana was inhabited in pre-colonial times by a number of ancient kingdoms. So predominantly the Akan kingdoms, including the inland Ashanti Empire, the Akwemu, the Achim, the Bunuman, the Dinchura, and the Fanti, among others. Non-Akan states created by the Ghana were also existed as did the Gunja, the Gomba and others. Now prior to contact with Europeans, trade between the Akan and various African states flourished due to the Akan's gold wealth. Now trade with European states began after contact with the Portuguese in the 15th century. You now the British then established the Gold Coast Crown Colony in 1874 um, over parts but not all uh, the entire country and the Gold Coast achieved independence from the United Kingdom in 1957, 63 years ago. All right, and that's exactly why we are here and what we are commemorating at this point in time. But the entire event is in the hands of the Ghana Armed Forces. Uh, Commander Berundika with me here in commentary position. So um, we've seen uh, the military personnel lined up, uh, we've seen the police, fire service, ambulance service and all the other security agencies uh, lined up. Um, but so, and we've heard about the parade commander. Do we know who he is? Yes. The parade commander is in the person of Group Captain Edu Jemfi. Mm. Uh, let me just give a little background to our parade commander for the 63rd Independence Parade. Mm -hmm. Group Commander uh, Edu Jemfi, of course, he is the parade commander, and uh, he has arrived here, and he came together with his parents. Both his mother and his father are here to observe him exactly. uh, as he performs that, and it's, it's his father's birthday, today, actually, today as well. His yes. fourth birthday today. 84 years today. Exactly. Yes. So the parade commander is a native of Ashanti Mampong. Mm. He was born at Dichemso here in Kumase to Mr. Kwame Edu Jemfi and Mrs. Joyce Edu Jemfi. He is an old student of T.I. Hamidia Secondary School. And during his time, he was an assistant school prefect from 86 to 87. Our parade commander is an experienced military transport pilot with over 3,000 flying hours to his credit. He is also a certified flight safety and accident investigator and has conducted several investigations for the UN, for the African Union, for the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority, amongst others. In the crowd, uh, uh, they're excited. Uh, one of our dignitaries coming in right now. When our cameras fetch him or her, we will tell you who it is. But obviously, an excited crowd as they welcome uh, the dignitaries. And you were telling us about the, uh, parade, the parade commander exactly. today. Yes. The parade commander commissioned to the Ghana Air Force in 1992. And he is currently the base commander of the Accra Air Force Base. He holds a Master of Science in Strategic Studies from the University of Ibadan, Nigeria. He also holds another Master of Arts in Peace and Security from the Addis Ababa University, Ethiopia. He also has a postgraduate diploma in public administration from the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. He's held several appointments, including the officer commanding the flying wing of the Air Force Base Tamale, Director Air Operations, Joint Operations at the General Headquarters, Bemakam. He was once a Deputy Director Air Operations in charge of plans at the Air Force Headquarters in Bemakam. 
He was also once a deputy director, P Support Operations, also at the Air Force headquarters. He has also served as a strategic aviation planner, African Union Commission Addis Ababa for three years. Well, he has a great experience in the military, and I'm not surprised that uh, he is the parade commander for today. And that tells me we are in very good hands. And what, what, and, and, and he has adjutants. What's the role of the adjutants uh, on an occasion like this? Okay, he has, he has the parade to IC, who is his deputy, and he has the adjutant. The adjutant back in our unit is responsible for the administration of troops. So he sees to the forming up of the personnel on parade. And then the pray to IC obviously is his deputy. In the unlikely event that something should happen to him, the two IC will immediately come and stand in. Because in the military, we, be, we believe that there must never be a vacuum as far as command is concerned. So the two IC deputizes for him, and in the absence of the two IC, the parade adjutant stands in. This is GBC's coverage of the 63rd Independence Parade, uh, which is being held here in Kumasi for the very first time. It's the first time the President of the Republic has had to come to the Ashanti Regional Capital of Kumasi to host this event. Uh, the first time the event was ever taken outside the uh, National Capital was last year when it was held in Tamale. Already the economic activities, Selikem, we've seen massive economic activities ongoing right here in Kumasi. Hotels are fully booked and even at the stadium premises here, the trade, the selling and the buying that's going on here is great. Yes, I said last night, um, late into the night, even almost close to 10 p.m., you still had people who had gathered around their wares, uh, covered them with a few bags, just waiting for dawn to unveil them and begin selling. Uh, people came with all kinds of things um, to come and make money, of course. And indeed, we've seen them selling their paraphernalia, especially all the wonderful things that have been made with the Ghana flag. We have some scarves, some hats and people are buying the flag itself uh, is being bought keenly uh, that's the level of excitement uh, here also you find that people who are selling food and and all kinds of, of things are also here uh, just to refresh the crowd who are coming in the 63rd independence day parade the national events being held